Daily Stand-Up, episode 4, boys. Today's a bit different. I don't think I'm going to be doing any coding today. I was looking through some dev news. Found this, Oh My Git, which is an open source game about learning Git. So I figured we go download this game. I'm going to grab it for Windows. Okay, we seem to have a pretty big issue, to be honest. Because this bit here is fine. But if I click on maybe the sandbox, but I think that would be the same. Yeah, can I go back at all? Uh, so the first thing is, I don't know if this, the keys are just like off the screen. Let's just close this again. Ooh, that wasn't a, that was loud, wasn't it? Close this. Open it again. It's fine here. Then I click levels. And you can't see this, of course, but it's like leaking onto my other screen. I can't seem to scroll any higher than that. It seems to be cut off. Um, the scroll bar is like quite far on my other screen. Let's have a look at some of the issues. Git learning game, oh my git. Stuck on a level. I feel depressed. Don't we all? Strange behavior of multiple monitors in Windows 10. That's us. That's exactly what we have. So hi, I have two monitors on Windows 10. Monitor 1 primary with taskbar locked. Blah blah blah. When game starts it takes over full screen for both monitors. So it's not quite the same for mine. Similar though, similar. I did actually manage to fix it, so stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how to do that if you're on Windows. Yeah, so it was actually a pretty weird fix, to be honest, um, because all I did was make the monitor, which was already my primary monitor, my primary monitor. So I just clicked on it again and then it fixed it. Uh, so if we go back, we can now see the whole game. I think we can play a few of these and see what we think. I might just toggle this music just in case it's really loud. Okay, let's start with this. Click on here. So you've decided to apply for time travel school to learn how to use this time machine called Git. How exciting you're missed on with paperwork. You just need to fill in one more reason why you want to learn Git. So let's just modify this. I want to learn Git so I can undo mistakes. Another reason. Okay, save that. That was the level. Okay, lovely. Next level. This time you're making a lot of backup copies. You can look at them by clicking on them. Okay. Add another line to form two. Really final. Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Enter the time machine. You've been accepted to time travel school. It's your first day. Your teacher explains to do anything with a time machine. You need to first initialize it. Drag the blue card up to play it. Cool. These playing cards are designed to be easy to use and to remember we'd suggest sticking to them if you don't have any experience with Git. Type Git in it. Yes. Indeed. Your first commit. You can now use this time machine to make a snapshot of objects around you. Let's practice this. Your teacher pours some water into a glass. Again, instead of using the card you can also type the commands which are printed into the back of the terminal. Make a snapshot of the glass. Glass. A commit. Save that. Oh, come off it. Cool, so we've got a commit called that. Change the contents of glass. Hello. Save that. And then we make another commit. Second commit. Okay. Okay, we've got git pull, git push, git add, lovely. Uh, let's add it. So get the second commit from your teacher using git pull. Add your name to the list of students. Thomas. Let's go capital T. We're doing a git add and a git commit. Modify students. Sure. And then we're going to push it. That's quite good to be fair. I mean, what's the next level? So we've done the whole intro. If you want to download this game, you can go... I'll, I'll leave a link in the description, of course, to own my git. Uh, and remember to fix it. I actually did... I just changed what my primary monitor was. If you're on Windows, that is. So if you've got multiple displays, then I came into here. I changed my multiple, my making this my main display, and then I changed it back to the one I actually want to be my main display, uh, and that was it really. 
I might play this a bit more. But yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video, to be honest. But yeah, catch you in the next one. Remember, these videos are just dev videos. They're not necessarily just like writing code for a specific website. I want to do dev news, all sorts of stuff.